Hey guys, so if you've not seen the Dark Knight Rises trailer, the new one that just came out just the other day, I highly recommend you go see it. But I gotta tell you guys, this trailer is just so awesome. You just know you're in for an epic. I don't mean to take away anything from the Avengers coming out this Friday because it looks like it's gonna be a great movie. It feels awesome. But you just see the Dark Knight Rises, it's it's something completely different. It's a it's a it's in a new zone, a new it's on a new le new level all by itself. So even though the Avengers is gonna be awesome, the Dark Knight Rises will be its own kind of awesome. You can just feel it. So in the beginning of this trailer, you see Bruce Wayne. Definitely this man is I'm not sure if he's like in sort of depressed or, or whatever, but you can just tell that he's just not a happy person and you just you feel bad for him because he's done all this stuff for Gotham while he's been Batman for almost the greater part of a decade and he almost, he almost has nothing to show for it and he's pretty much all alone and you can just you can definitely see it's taken a toll on our, on our hero he is pretty much beat in like mentally physically there's pretty much nothing left and then you see Bane he's you know he's in a he's in a plane and then his minions come through another plane and hijack that plane. I mean, that's loyalty right there. If your own minions are hijacking a plane to get to you from another plane, Bane, you're badass, and that, that is absolute loyalty right there. But anyways, so Bane comes to Gotham, and pretty much all chaos, and all, and all hell breaks loose, pretty much. In, in, this, in the last trailer, you saw Catwoman, it seemed like she was to be working with Bane, and it kind of looks like that too, in this movie, in this trailer, but it seems like through the movie, she's gonna have some sort of uh, like a moral issue because she's gonna see what Bane is doing and she's gonna be like, "Oh crap! I can't let Bane do this. This is this is a bit too much." So she looks like looks like she will be helping Batman to some point in this movie. And then of course in this, it seems like Batman may be gone for the first part of the movie. And, like he may just not be doing it anymore. And then so and it looks like Bane just kind of trashes Wayne Manor or something, and he captures Bruce Wayne, which. It looks like he may know he may know who Batman is, is already. I think he I think he understands it, and because you can just see Bane is just so smart and so brutal, it's it's scary. It's scary how just terrifying this guy is. This guy is like the boogeyman of the DC uni DC comic book universe right now because he he means business, and then this new cop. I don't say new cop, but um. This beat cop, you know, it looks like he's trying to find who Batman is and trying to, you know, trying to get him back, trying to find him, trying to say, hey, Batman, we need you. And it gets to a point where he's talking to Selina Kyle and he asks her, did they kill him after Bane had taken him to this, like, underground prison or whatever? And Selina Kyle says, I don't know. And then all of a sudden we see Batman wake up and then there's Bane right in his face. And then Bruce Wayne asks, why didn't you just kill me? And Bane's like, your punishment must be more severe. So you really see Bane, he's, he's got a plan. He's going to bring Gotham down to the ground. He's going to burn it to ashes. And remember the last movie when the Joker said that he was going to, you know, blow up the bridges and tunnels? That was just a joke. Bane actually took it to the next level. He blows up the bridges. And you can just, and that's when you realize, yeah, Gotham screwed. And then it, from then on, it's just an ex Amazing trailer with a bunch of action, and of course everybody has does that dramatic look, and it's like, you know, it's just like it's so dramatic, it's so dark, and it gets to a point that really strikes you that you know they say this is gonna be the end of the Dark Knight legend, you know, people saying could Batman die? They're not gonna kill Batman, they can't. But this trailer almost guarantees something like that might happen because Catwoman says to Batman, "You don't all these people anymore." You have given them everything. To which Batman replies, I haven't, I haven't given them everything. Not yet. So you realize that, okay, maybe Batman will really die at the end of this movie. Or Bruce Wayne might die. So, you're feeling that, yeah, it's just, it's going to be an amazing epic. And then all the characters come together. You, you, see, you see Jim Gordon in this trailer for like a second, same thing with, um, uh, Lucius Fox, he's in there for a second, so you know that they're in the movie, um, and it's just going to be absolutely amazing. Gotham is going to be turn, pretty much turned into no man's land because you got all the criminals and all the cops, and they just kind of rush, rush each other, and it just becomes an all-out brawl right there and down Main Street of Gotham, and in comes Batman, and then at the end of the trailer, the funniest part of the like. Actually, this comedy into this movie, it's the only thing that makes you laugh in this trailer. And Selena Kyle as Catwoman, 
is sitting kind of in the back seat of the Batmobile or whatever, or the Tumblr, and she says, you know, my mother told me not to get into cause, not to get into cause with strange men, and then Batman goes, this isn't a car, and then you see it, it just turns into like the, the night wing, it just flies off, and it, what it looks like maybe two rock egg, like ground air missiles are flying after it, I, I can't tell for sure because the trailer just, it's not enough to visualize and take it all in. Oh man, this trailer just nails it. So I cannot wait for July 20th, The Dark Knight Rises, Will Batman Die, kind of looks that way, but you know Bane is going to bring it, he's going to burn Gotham to the ground, but not if Batman has anything to say about it. So July 20th, 2012, I will be watching The Dark Knight Rises, and as I mentioned before about the Avengers coming out this Friday, I will be seeing it, I will give a review later on, probably this weekend or early next week. So look forward to that. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.